has to be an eight-year-old from scratch. Today I'll show you how to make a Super Mario game. It's part two. If you haven't watched part one, please watch it. First, delete the. First, save as your pop as a copy and name it episode two. Then, if you haven't delete the viewport, delete it. And make a new sprite named Mario. Mario. And drag it to the first spot. And make his first spot. Wait. How is it not working? I just don't understand why it's not working. Anyway, just leave it here. And in the costume, drag a uh, Mario Walk one and put it there. Then set, put the size to 200. The height we don't need it now. Sorry, Mario. Then make a new sprite named Generate. And go to code. And make a new custom block named Generate. Generate. And run without screen refresh. Then make a new list into go into variable and make a new list and name it tile grid for all sprites. And delete all of tile grid. Then make two new variables for all sprites. It's all for all sprites. Grid width. All sprite and grid height. All sprite. Set grid width and height. Grid width and height. Set grid width to 30 and set grid height to 20. And then make a new custom block named add wall column. Oopsie. And run without screen refresh. Then put that wall column under the custom generate block. And under under that wall column custom block, drag and repeat and repeat grid height with value. And add 10 to tile grid. Drag add sing to tile grid and put 10. If you want some quick reviews, click into the tile sprite and go to costume 10. It's a wooden block, so we're gonna use a wooden block for the border. Then make a new cust another new custom block named add box column. Box. Run without screen refresh. Then under the add box column, put an add ten. Put an add ten to tile grid, then repeat for grid height minus two. And add, add cost, add two to tile grid. And then add the 10 at the end. Then put a repeat under the add, add wall column in the generate script and repeat for grid width minus two. The reason is that because because there will be two walls on each side of the level. So it will like if the grid width will be 30, like two of them, two of the columns will be walls, but the rest 28 will be box columns so we so repeat that 28 amount of times so it stays equal same with this one for the box column first we add a block wooden block then if we didn't add this and just repeat for the grid height the the top block will be dis disappear only the floor will appear so the no ceiling will be visible so that's why 
and like yeah and I walk home at the end of the repeat grid grid wit let's now then cook it to the tile spy <laughs> in good tie and make a new variable named tile index for this part only And at the start of the sub script, set tile index to one. And set tile x under to just 16 simply. And the tile y to 16. And change and in the repeat clone count y at the end, put a chain tile index by one. And at the end of a cl clone count x, clone count x, wait, this stopped. And the dot, when, cl at the end of repeat clone count x, change tail index by tail, by clone grid height subtract clone count y. Like this. If we want to make like a border and inside is like no random, just drag out the set tile from setup script to pick, tree to pick random and put it under the position tile and put it under the go to x, y. Then set tile to item one of tile grid, but, but it's not item one. Put Instead put the value of tile index. Be careful not to use item hash of thing in tile in grid. They're very similar, so be careful. Now if you click the green flag, you will see purple squares. Not really interesting, right? But first, click into generate and make a new receiver named generate level. New message at me. Then just when I receive generate level in the generate place, generate sprite, just use the generate custom block. Then in the in the tile sprite and the wing green flag set broadcast broadcast and wait generate level and also let's also let's set camera X to 240 and camera Y to 180 and put it under the broadcast generate level and wait like that. Clears it. Clean up. Exactly. Now you see like a like a whole square. You should see like this. Make a custom block in the tile spray named loop loop tile x with an input of tile skip and run without screen refresh. Uh, and put under the position tile, put change x by clone count x multiplied by 32, drag it under the loop tile x tiles. Then replace that with a loop tile x. And for the input, just for clone count x. And for replace it with the tile skip in the repeat value. For the else, drag out a loop tile x 0 minus clone count for the input like that. Similarly, do it for the uh, the Y. Just make a new custom block named new tile, loop tile Y and make an input of tile skip and run with that screen refresh. Then, just do the same. It's basically the same, but it's just Y and, y and X the difference. Like this. Zero minus. Now if we test it, you should see everything is still the same. Always check after small change to make sure everything works so you know what happened to the script. Let's edit the loop tile Y to, and just simply check under the loop tile Y custom block. Drag out a change tile index by tile skip. 
And similarly, do it for new tile X duplicates and put it under there, but instead of new tile X, let's do tile, tile skip multiplied by grid height. And put it there. Put it here. Then, then let's con click the green flag. You should see the level is, is like this, but on the edge, there are those purple squares everywhere. So let's fix that. Go to control, drag it if condition, and put it under, put it in the position tile. Put it under set tile to item tile index of tile grid. And if go to operator, go to if tile is less than two, then set tile back to two. This shows that if the tile is less, if the tile cost him less than two, which is the one, the purple big square, then it will set, it will, it will switch back to this costume. That's basically the meaning. Now if we click the green flag, all those ugly purple scenes are gone. Good. Now, under the green flag, we're make a new event named Clone level tiles. And broadcast and wait under generate level. Under set, under set Y 180, like from set size to 200 to forever broadcast position tile, drag it out and drag out when I receive clone level tiles. Delete the go to X Y zero zero since we don't need that, and and put the forever position tile back into the wing green flag script, and drag the whole wing green flag script into the Mario sprite. Then to, in the Mario sprite, if it's there, just delete from the tile sprite. Good. Then now test it if everything's still the same. Yep, everything's still the same. And also. Change the slider range to from zero to one thousand, so we can have more of a view, more test. Make make a new custom block in Mario. They move camera. Run without screen refresh. And put the move camera under broadcast position tile. And drag two if statement. I mean one, and put a less than in the condition. And if camera X is less than two hundred forty. To set camera X back to 240. Duplicate that and do it. And if camera Y is less than 180, set camera Y back to 180. Then duplicate both of them. And on the bottom part, go to operate, drag out two greater than. And instead of less than, on the bottom two, put greater than. Exact like replace both of them. Then get a multiply multiply operator. Then put thirty two on the left and grid width on the right. Yeah, the grid width variable and drag on subtract the minus two forty. Put the thirty two multiplied by grid width on the left. And 240 on the right. And duplicate that and put one in the condition and put one in the set. Same similar to the bottom, but change for grid height instead of grid and set it to 180. And duplicate that and put it on the condition and the statement. Then if we test it, now you should see the camera's not moving off the screen. Even like even if we like even if we still have some t values to scroll, it's not moving. Perfect. Let's also make it more like a levelly kind. Go into the generate script and drag it. Go to control, drag it if else, and put it on in the add box column and repeat. And put an add to in the else. And in the if, put a nine. And go to operator, drag it equal. And 
drag a pick random, put on the left, and equals one. So it's like a pick random value. All of this is under the add box column, as you see on the screen. Let's test it now. There will be scattering of golden blocks. Perfect. This will bring you to another end of my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please smash the like button to view more your teaching videos. And also like smash the like button to and turn on the notification to view the latest video. See ya. <laughs>